Yago Dora up against Rio Waida. New heat in the water. Piper Girl for the Steve Palmentier on the call. Let's see if these guys are going to be. Here we go. We have a paddle. On the paddle here. Stalling off the bottom and whacking it on the oncoming section. That's going to be the first. Well, that's actually going to be the third wave for Rio Waida in the non priority heat up against Yago Dora. So. Well, we're going to get some live action here as we have a whitewater roll in and a nice top turn for Rio Waida. Patient off the bottom. Nice carve off the top for the Indonesian surfer. So you could see him on that pulled up when we were, had that drone angle that he was inside of everyone. Got a little chip shot into that thing. Wider where he took off compared to everyone else. You can see two guys out the back rear. like, okay, this, this, I can go this wave. They're nowhere near it. Fades that bottom turn and really just arcing through that first turn and gets one more in there too. So looking pretty silky smooth is Rio right now. Speaking of Yago, here he comes. Aims the board around that section. Carves in the pocket there, right around the corner. The wave goes into the channel, so he's going to lean on that Pupo. Equal 17th out of Sunset. And Sammy's going to have to get uh, busy uh, on the next three stops. He's got two 17s coming out of Hawaii. As Rio Waida finishes up a wave there in the channel. Now switching into priority portion of Rio and Yago's Yago's heat. And Yago with another wave too. Now they're in the priority designs off of, off of him. Here we go with Yago Dora. Dora spotting a place in the lip just has to glide through there look at this rear up and Dora goes around that so just a lot of chatter on that wave unfortunately I was anticipating a big top turn for Yago but i really not standing up the way he wanted to I mean you really be able to see it here drops down the first section it's trying to find that spot to put this first turn gets down this section here it stands up a bit but as he gets around this section, it's already ran off the reef, so you see that lumpy, bumpy water. He's won 834 heats. <laughs> His numbers are outstanding. Rio Waida here in the live action with the lead over Yago Dora. Waida looking to better a 3.7 on this effort. Kelly did well yesterday. I mean, finding those couple of barrels. We'll get back to that in one second as we quick in and out there for Yago just that wave just shutting down in front of him but yeah Ke kelly did really well yesterday finding those couple of barrels we don't we don't hear that a lot from kelly slater he seems just like ageless in his approach here we go waida heat leader in the priority heat did not better his score on the last wave we'll see if he betters that 3.7 backup score catch the right wave is so difficult um i think making it really hard to compete um yeah you can luck into a good wave and get a barrel or you can find one or two good turns but um on a competitive standpoint it's really difficult get defeated with all the poundings not being able to find a wave but we saw griffin colapinto turn his heat in the final couple of minutes so um you just gotta stay positive i feel as a competitor as we see rio waida on his eighth wave surfing out there so rio he's in the lead over yago dora and he's giving himself every chance. Right, there's the numbers there. 10 point heat total is enough for Rio Waida to move into the round of 16. We'll move into a break. We'll be back. Kylie Belly and Liam O'Brien in the water along with Ethan Ewing and Kelly Slater.